after we do that. <laughs> oh my god, that's okay. delicious. Mm. <laughs> you guys, finger looking good. <laughs> We're not eating baby. We're not doing that. <laughs> God, are you, what is it? It's like skin, we're like killing babies know. and using your skin to make I don't shoes know. now. That conversation last night, I just, it was at the end of a week. You know what I'm saying? I just. We're going to get to that in a moment. We're going to get to that. Um, Hang tight. <laughs> Hang on for the ride, everybody. So there was somebody in the comments yesterday who was all like, you guys know that when people send you presents, it's just free advertising for them, right? Well, they're I mean, just I'm trying to like get a plug for their whatever. Delighted to do it. If they're conservatives and they're sending us stuff out of the goodness of their heart and they've taken the time to do that, delighted to advertise for them. Honored to do it, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact. We support small businesses. That's right. Mm -hmm. And yes, there are probably some people who are doing it for that advantage and that advantage alone. That's I'm fine. Not, that's fine. That's fine. However, the vast majority of you all that are sending us amazingly thoughtful, personal, yes. handmade Sentimental gifts. Sentimental gifts, yeah. It's not about promoting anything. No. It's about just being, like, so nice. It's about goodness. It's about people who have goodness in their hearts. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I mean, like, and we're overwhelmed by that. And so it's, it's not, not just, about yeah, that. It's not just about, like, commercial success. Right. Yeah. So suck it, whoever that was. Yeah. Because you know what? Today, we got a card from Eileen Joy. Eileen said... And she is pure joy. Pure joy. And she said, when there are so many sheep, let us not become sheeple. Hence, my sheeple pillows. You guys. You guys. You guys, like, this is not... I can't even. This is not like, hey, I want to make a ton of money and I want commercial... This is like love right here. Look I at mean, this. I mean, hand Like, she made in. this. She made these. <laughs> like, I can't make toast. Okay? <laughs> and this chick <laughs> makes <laughs> these. This is what she makes. <laughs> Am I wrong? No. You, you've been around me for how many years now? Like 14 years? I can't. You it's, guys. That's true. She said, knitted with good thoughts. She said she enjoys our Facebook lives. There's a yellow one too, you guys. And she, there's no, this isn't from a store. No. She's not trying to promote anything. She made these by hand. This. I mean, they're just unbelievable. She just did that because she enjoys our show. Oh my God. Can you even? I told her, I said this afternoon, she hasn't slept much this week because she has, she has like hives and she's been back and forth to the doctor. She can't get rid of them. She hasn't slept at all. I said, you take that pillow <laughs> and you snuggle I'm gonna the crap snuggle out of it. it today. And I bet that that will put you to sleep. I need it so bad, you guys. Oh, my God. And then, you know, and we've been meaning to get to this giant box of goodies um, that, let me see. Look at this dog. Look at this. <laughs> Here, I, yeah, yeah, you you ripped that, that off. off. Yeah. This is from Sonia. Oh, and my that's God. Olive. That's all of the jog, you guys. <laughs> Look at the jug. And, you know, here's another just example. This letter, which you can see, is a long typed out letter. It's like this is addressed to us, to Rob, and to Jason Hammer, who does the last segment mm -hmm. of our radio show with this every day. Yeah. It is full of literally every inside joke yeah. that comes from our the, our relationship with yeah. these boys. We forgot them until she <laughs> reminded us of them. I, I mean, mean, that is, this is what an actual, like, true fan yeah. looks like. And so the things that she sent, you guys, okay, first of all, she sent the boys these cups. This is for the boys. I think this is for the boys. Isn't that the sweetest? The boys are going to love these. And like, I think the straws are for the boys, The too. boys They're are going to love these. Stuff. Like Hammer. And Hammer, they never get, he they, never gets yeah, gifts. Never he's going to lose his crap Oh, my today. God. He's going to be. He's going to lose his crap. Look, soft caramel popcorn. I mean, the sweetest, right? And we will eat. We never, we, listen, food. We're always wanting food because we're always hungry. Actually, I think those cups are for us. Because, really? Yeah. Because okay, well, then I'm super excited yeah. about that. Rob, look at this, oh, you guys. this is for Rob. This is for Rob. Okay, this says, and I, I will always love you. Because we always play Whitney before we play Trump clips. You guys know that song, Whitney? Well, really, it was Dolly Parton's song. Right. But you know what I'm saying. But yeah, we but play we Whitney. always play that. So that's, it's like for a little, that's for Rob. Rob, look what you look got. Look what you got. Look what you got. But wait, there's hang more. On. Hang on. Okay. Hang wait. On. No, we're bombarding you. Hang wait, on. there's more. There's more. There's so much because Rob, you also got. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. Oh my God. Wait. This is wait, the greatest hold thing. Hold that. Hold on. Hold this. Hold on. And hold this. Okay. You guys, because he says dot dot dot. 
And you may not know. Look it. Look, you got dot, dot. <laughs> you got dots? Dot. You got a dot shirt. You got this. And then you got this. Well, hello. You got this And you got, I will always love you. Can you Can you stand it? it? This is from Sonia. I know, right? Dots. Sonia. And then you got that. And you got that. And then I think the straw. Oh. I got to read the letter to figure out who Can goes. Can you stand it? With what? But anyway, what I'm saying is, Sonia did a, this is a very personal thing. She's very not promoting personal. anything no, no. except for pure love and joy. It's okay? True. It's Sonya. true. Where's the camera at? I want to look it's right, just right into right the there. camera. It's right there. It's right there. You just look right directly in there. Sonia, I love you <laughs> so, so much. You, wait until you read this. And he letter. doesn't love anybody I'm but serious. himself. Read this. You're gonna, so you you're gonna yeah, lose you your mind. You have to go, like, go, go over oh, there and read it. And then we got like 10, we got five times 10 Starbucks gift cards for all of us to share it's from just Sonia. For the, the I mean, like, all the guys at the station. It's, it's just the just sweetest. Incredible. So sweet. It's so, incredible. So, so sweet. It's just, I mean, so, so thank you. Yeah. So thank you guys. For real. Like, this is crazy. Okay. Yeah. And then, listen, and then, and then <laughs> there's the flip side. What? There's the flip side. Last night, I'm trying to get the template done. I had to take my, my husband to a medical procedure. I left early yesterday, rush home, do that, get home, rushing to get the template done. I'm like looking through emails. And then this chick was like, Oh she, yeah. This okay. chick alerted me and said, listen, you need to stop wearing those red shoes. Okay, hold that thought. Because I just want to tell you, I sent you so <laughs> many things. So much audio. Oh my God. Every day. So many it's things. It's every I'm day. Sorry. Which is weird because I did the template. I know, but then That's... all of this stuff exploded. And there was a clip that you didn't have in there that I know she wants. What is it? The apology. The Harris uh, Fall oh, Fair I apology. Oh, I didn't put it in there? I you just I made it, it blue. Like you made the word apology blue. But I didn't blue. include <laughs> the clip. No, so I sent you Sorry. That. And then like some other clips. And so there's so much. I'm sorry. That's why I gave you the presents first. Yeah. We love you, Rob. So you were bribing me. I wasn't bribing. Yeah, I just we were, wanted to make you happy we were bri first. We were bribing so you. So that you would Also, be it's, as also angry. it's your job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that we disagree on what my job is. Or it is. It's your job. Okay. Okay. So anyway, so this lady was like, Thank listen. You, <laughs> so this lady wrote us, I guess, and she was like, I say lady, I guess. She's like, chicks. I have the whole thing in my face. She's like, chicks. I'm paraphrasing, I think. She's like, you can't wear red shoes. Like, no, it's like, like, uh, say it exactly. So there wasn't even a message, you guys. It was just a subject line that said, Skip the red shoes, ladies. That's it. That's all she said. <laughs> like, it was a demand. So we knew right away that, they, that she was talking about the picture on our homepage, which yeah. is, she's I, got her red boots on. I have my red cowboy boots, and she's I got, got her red, red pumps. Uh-huh. And so we knew that that's what it was about. Yeah. And so you wrote back. I wrote, no. <laughs> That's what I wrote. Because I was going to write hell no, and then I took the hell out. Because I was like, that would be mean, right? So so I said no. That's what she said. She said no. Mm -hmm. And so um, then that started a conversation with just those two. Like with this Lisa lady who wrote us and, mm -hmm. and you. And I didn't see your conversation. Yeah, I don't like it when people tell me what to do. Well, and I had written back too, and I was like, WTF, are we being punked right now? Because do chicks really send messages like this to each other? Like, I thought we were past middle school, you guys. Yeah, and then I wrote you back. Yes, because she had written you back um, that it represents the she killing goes, of babies. She goes, or represent the killing of babies. Go for it. Great PR. That's what she said. <laughs> and I didn't see that. So I'm just sitting back waiting to find out what this is all about. <laughs> and I was like, what? So What's that's happening. That's when she responds to both of us and says, Lisa is a QAnon person, Mock. She's telling us we can't wear red shoes anymore because QAnon is telling us what color footwear to buy now. This is what's happening right now. And then Lisa wrote back to you and said, Q didn't tell me that, FYI. It's been around long before 2017. Cheers, ladies. Mm -hmm. And then you, you and I said, and we've been around since 2009, <laughs> so cute can bugger off about our red shoes. <laughs> but you also said this. <clears throat> oh, what's been around since 2017, someone telling you not to wear red shoes because I'm going to wear the red boots that I worked really hard for. I'll continue to wear them because last time I checked, you don't get to tell me what to do. But thanks for writing. So then when I discovered that she was a, like, this was a whole Q thing. Yeah, she, and listen, I watched, you watched the documentary. It just probably slipped your mind. I didn't catch the red shoe. There was like that, a part that in that babies. in that documentary that like we're apparently eating babies now because <laughs> we wore red shoes on our website. And that's oh been there since the beginning of our existence, right? 
We've had the red shoes. We had the red shoes before red shoes became a thing. Yeah. Well, and I, j listen, there is some value to people doing investigative looks into these theories. I, I'm down to clown with all of that. But when you decide that you're just gonna let fringe people dictate what you wear, then you've lost your mind. So um, she wrote, Lisa wrote back to me then and didn't copy Daisy because this is a person that doesn't understand reply to all. Yeah, she can't do that. <laughs> so yeah. she re responded to that uh, message I sent her saying, oh my God, do chicks really do this? Mm -hmm. And she said, chicks do. I'm a woman and I went to check out your website and the first thing I saw is the red shoes. Mm -hmm. Do you know what red shoes represent in DC and yeah. celebrity circles? Oh. As much as I wanted to read your views because we need more women like you on the right, mm. but my stomach dropped just Ugh. seeing you two in the red shoes, knowing there's a chance it could symbolize something else. Mm. I guarantee there are others that think like me, but obviously it's truly none of my business. Just wanted to see more people make it past the red shoes. Yeah, it's none of her business, but let's just have this giant <laughs> conversation about our freaking shoes. I just have never been so... I was cracking up at this, you guys. I was like, this cannot be real, but it was real. It was, and you know what? I wasn't because I was trying to work and it was a giant waste of my freaking time. You know, this is what she's concerning herself with. Like, get a life, lady. Oh my God. Good Lord. And so I, I responded to her and I asked her, I was like, why should I give a f an F? <laughs> about what what red shoes represent in DC and celebrity circles. We don't live there. <laughs> and why do you give an F? Why are you allowing DC and celebrities to tell you what color shoes to wear? And why would you buy into the symbolism? That's the bigger thing. Because now people, I saw comments of people saying, no, she's right. Like, that's really what it means in like pedo gate and pizza, whatever. I mean, that's totally what it means. And I was like, so? So we're I'm not eating babies. Yeah. Okay. I can assure you. <laughs> I've never eaten a baby. <laughs> I can't believe I have to say that out loud. I can't believe we have to say and that. And the out problem loud. is that, like, now, what are normal people never allowed to wear red shoes anymore? Because I like my That's red boots. The thing. And this is what I tried to tell her. I was like, you know what? Sometimes red shoes are just red, red shoes. shoes, and they don't mean anything. Sometimes, except that the wearer. Yeah likes red shoes. And this is the problem with the QAnon folks, is that they have to find meaning about everything. Yes, everything's everything coded. Everything is coded. Not everything is coded. Sometimes they're just red shoes. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, wow, those are kick-ass red boots. I'm gonna buy them. I'm gonna buy them because they look really great with that outfit and that outfit too. And I'm gonna wear them. I mean, yeah. you guys. Sometimes that happens. That was just some serious back crappery right there. Yeah, so that happened yesterday. Whew. Also, yesterday was a great day, it turned out, because after we've been bitching about all of the school indoctrination stuff, it's as if Trump heard us personally and decided to like make a big statement about this new 1776 project he has and about how he wants to end all of this indoctrination <laughs> in schools. And then our friend Max Eden was on Tucker oh Carlson's gosh. show talking we about the very him. same thing. Yep. And it was like we felt so heard. Yeah. Even if they didn't hear us, there we was, felt heard. There was a little validation because, you know, we've been talking... What I think even yesterday we were like, we can't be the only ones talking about this. We just can't be. Like, we need people to get involved. And then all of a sudden it was like, poof. Yeah, it's like everyone materialized. Uh -huh. And all these different groups we're hearing about through Prager uh -huh. and through Purple yeah. for Parents. Yeah. And all these people are reaching out. And it's just amazing to not feel like we're screaming to but, just a black like, hole. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that Trump was actually saying things about it. It was like... Just so reinforcing that we're not crazy. Yeah. And that this is an actual problem nationwide. Uh huh. So that was. And I it think was good. I think conservative parents are starting to rise up and conservative people are starting to rise up against this bull crap. And they are just not gonna take it anymore. You know, I I have in our lineup today that um the there is a that I think Pelosi, yeah, it was Pelosi. She did some sort of, I think it was on the floor somewhere. She's all of a sudden, she's condemning the violent rioting. Oh, yeah. It's the very first, yeah. It's the very, the very first, first story, story that we have in the template. And she's all of a sudden saying that, you know, this has got to be. Like, this we, needs to be prosecuted, you guys. Yeah, like these people have to be prosecuted and this violent stuff should. Like, welcome. It's like, welcome to the party, pal. Oh, my God. And obviously, it's because I, she got polling. Mm -hmm. She got polling data and people are coming to her saying, shit, we got to do something. Because the people in America are are not liking this. 
You know, that people are freaked out. They, they don't feel safe. They don't like this. They know that these people are tied to Marxists. This, you know, this isn't good. This isn't good for us. We didn't talk about it in the DNC convention. You know, this is all faring very bad for us. We're not doing well with this. So somebody needs to say something. And it's like <laughs> I mean, the, the BLM co-creators are just getting more and more crazy and more outspoken mm -hmm. in their craziness, which I appreciate. Yeah. Because I'm like, thank you. Thank you for being this open about your actual agenda agenda and thank god people are finally starting to turn against the blm movement yeah they the said political at, organization at the height of the summer when anti-racism and anti-police brutality protests were opening in almost every major american city support for the black lives matter movement hit an all-time high of 67 percent this is when people didn't realize that they were tied to marxism mm -hmm. right because people are stupid and they don't read <laughs> they don't do the research they can't think critically right as the summer wore on and they saw how violent things were and they started reading they started hearing from people from us you know like like people like us and people you know all people start, started to give them the information the actual information um the support for the movement as a whole dropped by more than 10 percent and so and it's continued to drop and i and i as the more that they are Crazy, <laughs> yeah then hopefully it drops even further and the more that people say this movement is not about black lives not this, at all at all this movement is about marxism people are like oh well crap <laughs> i didn't think that that was the case <laughs> yeah because you can't read you can't you read a headline or you listen to cnn and you're not actually doing the the critical thinking that you should be doing and when you do that you discover and you start unraveling and peeling back the onion you start discovering that these people want to dismantle america they want to dismantle America as it is. They want to dismantle capitalism. They want to dismantle the nuclear family. They want to dismantle everything that you know true to be American. It's not good. <laughs> it's not good. And you know, just massive thanks go to the president for recognizing that this is something that people are talking about and caring about and worried about. And he's actually trying to take steps to, to fix it. Mm -hmm. And I just, I'm so grateful. I'm just so grateful. And it just totally like solidifies the already 100% support he had for me. It's just, it feels so good to be heard in that way. You <clears throat> yeah. know what I mean? And you're right. Nancy needs to go. Oh my God, she what needed I had. To go. She needed to go for that salon stunt. Yeah, exactly. I mean, she needed to get the heck out of there just for that. It's ridiculous. Let them eat cake. <laughs> and you mentioned CNN. They did a town hall with Joe Biden last night, which was so utterly pathetic. The softball questions that they threw at him. Do you know that Anderson Cooper allowed Joe Biden to say that Trump could have prevented the 190,000 people from dying of COVID if he wanted to. Unbelievable. And there was no pushback. There was no follow-up. There was no fact-checking. Whereas when they have Trump doing a town hall, there's literally a ticker that the sole purpose of which is to fact-check. And yet with Joe Biden, they just let him say the most batshit things. And they're just like, oh, yeah. It's a virus. Awesome. It is a virus. People are going to die from a virus. I mean, it's terrible and it's unfortunate. It's awful. But people are going to die from viruses. This is, it's like saying that Obamacare saved us from the flu. You know, are, are people, have people lost their minds? Yes. And this is, this is the left who says to us that we're science deniers. Y'all have lost your minds if you think that none of us would have been affected by this virus. Like, it, if a Democrat were in charge, right. a Democrat would have saved us all from this. Like, zero people would have been affected by this virus. This is the same this candidate, is what they're by the saying. way, who said that if he's elected, he will cure cancer. So uh, we know what kind of crazy we're dealing with. It's, he is... He is out of his mind. He's yeah. out of his mind. These, and, and Democrats are pushing this. They are actually saying that this is true. A Democrat would have saved us and zero, zero people, none of us would have been affected by this virus. And there are people that I know who are in the science field who are buying into this load of garbage. Like, what is that? What is wrong with you? Unbelievable. It's crazy. Yeah, absolutely it's crazy. absolutely crazy. Somebody asked about our radio show cutting in and out over the last two days. We've heard yeah. that there's complaints about it. It's out of our hands. We've told our engineering team, I don't know what to do except for tell them and hope that they sort it out. Um, really quickly, before we forget, we want to make sure that you are aware that our paperbacks of Right for a Reason are out. You can buy them direct from Amazon 
Or if you would like an inscribed copy, you can go to our website, chicksontheright.com, look for the get the book um, little menu item and see how to order it from us directly so that you can have it personally inscribed. Also, if you don't know, we have a really cute little store. We do. That is also linked at the top of chicksontheright.com. Yeah. It just has like shirts and things and trinkets it's, and things in it. It's through Spreadshirt, but it's right at the top. You can just see the yes. little link for store. Um, and then somebody asked if you've been eating shellfish lately. Um, no, no, not you really. I mean, eating. I do eat shellfish from time to time, but I've never had a problem with it, and I haven't had any lately. You haven't? So, so mm -hmm. you don't think that's what it is? No. Because she has hives. No, I don't think maybe that's what it Maybe it's, is. you know, maybe it's just the, like, some sort of political thing that's making you break out in hives. My parents are convinced that it's because I'm so anxious about all the school indoctrination stuff that I've given myself hives somehow. Really? <laughs> or that at least if I got contact dermatitis from something, that I'm exacerbating it with my stress. Really? But you so think? I don't. Well, that's what they think. I have no idea. You're like the the least stressed person. That's the thing. I don't now. feel like it is stressing me to the point where yeah, I'm, I. Yeah, and, and I've and I've known you for so it. long. Like I, I don't like I would have noticed like more stress. In yeah. You than, and than, you've known me through way more stressful I've things. I've known you through way more stressful. Way things. more stressful yeah, things. So I don't think that this is. As, I feel like this is. I yeah. Mean, yeah, I'm worried about it, and of but course you're I not care. like oh my god, stressed to the point where this yeah. would be. I think other things would have stressed you out worse. That's kind of what I feel like too. But yeah. thank you for your concern mm -hmm. um, uh, about that. Also, yeah. if you want, um, we there's a little reminder at the top of our screen right now that says, "Don't forget to promote these things." Um, Cameo is an app where you can order up a personalized video message from us. So if you go to cameo.com or look for the app on your phone and you want us to wish somebody in your family like a happy anniversary or happy birthday, we do those things too. Laura, I'm so. glad you liked your shirt. Laura got the shirt about the coffee dogs and cocktails. Oh yeah, I, I love, love that, that one. one. I have that one too. That one's super cute. I have that one too. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm on all kinds of steroids and it's she's had like she's because been, of the hives. Not it's not causing the hives. I got put on the steroids for She's had like the, the oil hives. stuff, the shots. I got the had, shot yesterday, did nothing. Yeah, I had nothing she's nothing's just, helping. She's been on everything. Like so, yeah. Yeah, something something got to her. I told her to take an Aveeno oatmeal bath I'm today. Gonna, I'm totally doing that. She's so itchy. I think she's making it worse by scratching it. I know. And so she needs to take like a nice like a hippie bath. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what I call I'm it. I'm down it's with a hippie take, bath, Take man. a hippie bath, man. I am yeah. down. Like, you guys, programming note, and I would never ordinarily tell you to watch The View ever, 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 but Kim right. Klasik is going to be uh, on today. Yeah. Is that today? That's today. today. And that's what, 11 o'clock Eastern? I don't is even know. Is that usually when it's on? I don't even yeah, know Yeah, Kim Klasik, you guys. It's, listen, these chicks are are awesome the chicks that go on these shows that like the sarah huckabee sanders and the kim clay six those chicks that go into that hornet's nest that do this all the props mad props. i would never do that because they're awful <laughs> the worst they are the worst women ever i would never go on that show Speaking of Sarah Sanders, if you haven't heard our podcast from this week, make sure to listen to it because she was awesome. We had the best time with her. Yeah, yeah. So you can hear that on any podcasting platform. Just look for the Mock and Daisy Common Sense cast. And also, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, The Mock and Daisy Show, because all the videos get put out there. There's some teaser clips of Sarah's appearance with us. So make sure that you're um, subscribed there as well. Yeah, people are saying you should do the hippie bath. I'm I mean, totally going to do They say it. oatmeal bath, but I call it a hippie bath. I'm doing it. I, yeah. Literally, as soon as we're done working she didn't today, know I'm about the hippie bath. I had I no idea. Her, yeah. And no doctor, no, they haven't told me anything yeah, about they won't, that. They won't tell you about an oatmeal bath. I, they did say don't take too hot of a bath, but, yeah. but I won't. Take a, take a lukewarm hippie bath. Yeah, You'll I'm doing fine. it. Yeah. I'm so mm -hmm. doing it. Mm -hmm. um, no, I don't think it's the hair dye because I had this way before I got my hair done. So it's not, it's not yeah. the hair. Yeah. <clears throat> um, all right. So, okay, enough about my hives. <laughs> So what That's other sweet stuff? That people are praying I know for you, it's very very, very nice. Very I, I do appreciate it. I love that. And I already I got a shingles that. vaccine, so it's not that. Um, anyway, what else do you guys want to talk you about besides have, you my guys? Hives? You guys have anything else to talk about besides her itchy skin? <laughs> oh yeah, uh, the Newt Gingrich oh, stuff. We're talking about that today. We will. They were like, we can't talk about Soros. Did you guys see the weirdness? She sent it to me, uh -huh. and the yeah. Harris Faulkner. Who else was it? Was it Harris? was Harris Faulkner and, and Marie Harp? Marie Harp. Yeah. Which I don't. Marie Harp was like, mm -mm, we're not talking about that. We're it was shutting it so down. Weird. Shutting it down because because he brought up Soros. He said Soros like two times in the conversation because he's like these people, these rioters and whatnot. They're paid by Soros. And then they, uh, everybody freaked out. Yeah, I don't know why that's such a freak out. I feel like we all know that, right? Don't don't we all kind of have that in the back of our minds? Like, what is the big deal of saying that out loud? Well, they were just like, 
they they didn't like that. It's as if they were about to be fired. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they and were he, like, and he was like, all right. He, he was like, so is that verboten now? I mean, he's yeah. <laughs> it was so strange. He was yeah. He was visibly. Um, not like uncomfortable, but he was just like, what is going on? Like, and what is no happening? one knew. Like, it was so bizarre. It yeah. made me uncomfortable to watch it. And then shortly after that, Harris Faulkner did this big apology yeah. and how like Newt's one of their favorites. And, and of course, he, yeah. they're not censoring anybody. But then there was no explanation mm -hmm. for what why they just did that. happened. Why they did it. Yeah. It was weird. Yeah, it was weird. I don't like anything where George Soros can't be mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. That guy. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah, that happened. That yeah. happened. Listen, you guys, I got the shingles vaccine a long time ago, so it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your concern. Everybody's so worried about it. <laughs> I'm going to take a bath. I'm going to be fine. It's going to be just fine. Yeah. She's gonna be uh, good. Tiny Birthday Cake have a website. Oh, oh tiny, the tiny, 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 the teeny, tiny cake. Um, Do we have oh, that? Gosh, I don't She's know looking for her oh, card. Wait, I don't know if there's a website. Do we have a card? I don't think she ever gave us a card, but she makes like teeny <laughs> tiny <laughs> itsy bitsy things. She does. And I it's don't. It's so itsy bitsy. I don't think we have her I card. I don't think she ever sent a If website. you're out there watching, pipe in. Yeah, if the teeny tiny thing lady is. Um, Are you, if you're where, watching, if please you pipe just in. Please pipe let in. Let everybody know. How yeah, to the teeny tiny. Teeny tinies. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Anything else, you guys? Have you heard about the movie? No Left Turn for summer. Education. Yes, somebody emailed yeah, us about yeah, that. Yeah, we did. We're getting a lot uh -huh. of different um, emails yeah, about Yeah, because the that. other day I turned to her and I go, we should start a nonprofit. And I was uh, like. And she was like, that sounds like a lot of work. That's what she said. <laughs> That's my standard answer to everything. <laughs> she always says that to me. <laughs> I'm like, we should fight the power. <laughs> and she's like, that sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> this is so us. <laughs> I would love to just piggyback onto someone who's already started the work. <laughs> and I was like. It's like, fine. <laughs> yeah. And so obviously, and then now all these other people, we see people are doing this. And so it's, that makes me feel better. Yeah. Cause I'm like, oh, for, nobody's doing it. We have to fill the need. Oh my God, we have to do it. You know? And she's like, oh, Daisy, you're insufferable. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I only watch Tucker. He's, he says whatever he wants. I know, right? He's yeah. the best. He is. He's the absolute he best. Should, it, never, ever let him go off the air. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I just love him. Uh, every time I see Soros's picture, I think it's his obit, and then I'm sad realizing it's not. <laughs> you don't want to wish anybody that to die. Mean. I didn't laugh. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else you guys got? Add baking soda to the oatmeal bath. Really? That's, I mean, look it up. Google it. Okay. Just Google that it. seems like but, a, I mean, lot it's a lot of stuff. a lot of stuff. I, I mean, feel like I'd like be all gooey. Just, and... You probably will be clumpy once you get out. You'll be like, <laughs> you'll be like a, a baking experiment in there. <laughs> and then mm -hmm. how long do you leave... Everything on well, your body. Right, just, I think you just get out and then you pat dry. I mean, just read the instructions. Okay, all right. Yeah. All right. Uh, I know someone who could choreograph dances for your Dancing with the Stars idea. Did we have a Dancing with the Stars We're going to be on Dancing with the Stars. We are? She and I are going to be on Dancing with the Stars. Different partners. I miss this. We're not going to be with each other. Do that I would dementia? Be... What's happening? I don't remember this. We were talking about being on Dancing with the Stars, I believe, the other day, how we should be on Dancing with the Stars. Why don't I remember that? Yeah, we were talking about it with the boys. We were going to do Dancing with the Stars WIBC. Oh, that. Okay. Yeah. I got you. WIBC. I'm with we're going to be in, and then Jason was going to dance to like some ridiculous <laughs> tricky, song tricky. with this with his shirt off. He was like, "I'll dance with that. Jason always wants to take his clothes off. <laughs> always. Hammer from WIBC always wants to disrobe. He really does. Though. He always wants to show us his doodads. Always. This is what the boys want to do here. It's constant. I just want to make sure that. Mm -hmm. Be careful. You can get burned from baking soda. Just, you what? may. Okay, maybe I won't just do the baking do the, soda. Just do the oatmeal bath. All right. Yeah, just I'm just going to try just the oatmeal just, first. Just stick with that. And see how that goes. I'd like to send some shirts. <sighs> we're, I'd say we're both mediums. Always <laughs> mediums. You know, it's good to be a little. But you don't have to send us you anything. You don't have to send us anything. Really? Mm -mm. You really don't. <clears throat> Did you change? No, I haven't changed anything. No laundry mm -hmm. detergent or sheets. No. Nothing has changed. Nothing no. whatsoever. The doctors speculated that maybe my dogs went outside, made contact with poison ivy, and then I made contact with them. That's just a theory. We don't know. John Kennedy said that Pelosi ate Tide Pods. That was epic. <laughs> oh my God, wasn't that the it greatest? Was epic. We loved it. It was fantastic. <laughs> we played it on our show. It was great. I love that so it was much. So great. Oh my gosh, that was the greatest thing ever. Yeah. 
Crazy Nancy. She is crazy. She I don't is know, batshit. I don't understand why she's still there. I just Working don't. with men is fun. We love when we you're love the it. kind of person who can take it all, like right? likes the banter. Yeah, right? we love it. We love it too. We love the guys that we work with. Oh yeah, it's so much fun. And we're like the only girls here, and we're we have our little sorority back here, and then that's it. <laughs> and then the guys, it's like a bunch of swinging Richards in the in the office. <laughs> you know, it's great. <laughs> Avino is a great only. Yes, that's what I told her to get. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. That is what she said. Yeah. Um. Oh, that, some of these are too long, so we can't see. Kind of long. Can you talk about the Dems not accepting the vote results? It'll. It's gonna make me stress out, you guys. See, that will give her hives. <laughs> that is gonna give her all. But the yeah, hives. the Democrats are already planning giant legal teams mm -hmm. that are ready to fight whatever the results of the election yeah. are. They're not going to concede, and that is terrifying. And she'll be in the corner. I'll be throwing chocolate donuts at her. It'll just be a complete nightmare. Yeah. Trump rally on Monday in your hometown. Where do you live, Sonia? Oh, how fun! Where's he gonna be? I don't know. Where I haven't he's heard be. where he's gonna be Monday. I know. Was he? Wisconsin yesterday? Uh huh. I think like he was in Wisconsin was yesterday. Well, you know, we have rally. never been to a Trump rally. I know. We, we were talking about how we'd love to go and like be in it and be at the podium screaming for him. It'd be yeah. So great. I don't know why he doesn't invite us. We would be so fun. Right? <laughs> I'd love to be in one of those rallies. <laughs> Uh, try nettle tea. I don't know what that is. Like drinking Chelsea, it? Or Chelsea like... Clinton is married to Soros' nephew? Probably. Is he, is he really? That makes so much sense. I'm, I'm sure that's probably right. Why doesn't DeVos get involved with the I sent stuff? her yeah. all the stuff, it's and I, I didn't hear back. So I'm hoping Max and Tucker and we have forwarding. somebody. I mean, I've try, I'm trying to send it to everybody. Mm -hmm. Of course, I send it to the state superintendent of schools here, and she's not going to respond because she's responsible for it. Somebody, somebody got hives after they died their hair a few years ago. Yeah, but I mean, this is not. I and, had hives before I did it, and you can get you can be allergic. You can get allergic to stuff even after you you don't you yeah. can do that. So it happens. Yeah. Trump challenged Duffy to a tree climbing competition. I didn't see that. I did not see that either. <laughs> I love no, that. No, somebody's like, don't put anything on it. Leave it alone. <laughs> no, take an Avino bath. Take a hippie bath. Just do it. Just do it. Northwestern Ohio. That's where the Trump rally is on Monday. Oh, okay. All right. Fantastic. So that's awesome. Isolation of dementia and elderly that is killing more than COVID. Yeah, for some yeah. reason the rates of Alzheimer's and dementia are skyrocketing because yeah. of because like people can't go all see the them. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's awful. Yeah, everything's awful. They've totally they have done such a horrible job with this. The states and we were talking. Did you guys? We talked a little bit about the Nashville thing the other day with the bars and everything and how they're keeping they're keeping the statistics from us. The state is. It's not. The cities are. I mean, this is and what they're doing. And you know what I heard on the radio this morning? Uh, that I had no idea that New York City schools are still not open. Can you believe this crap? Like, they're, no one is in school in New York City. Can you believe this? It's almost the end of September. Yep. And now they're like, well, by October 1st. And oh, then my God. There was, no, they'll keep pushing it back. They will, because there was there was a woman that was on this morning saying, I there's they aren't doing anything to, to be prepared for oh, my October God. 1st. Open. You guys, my kid has been in school since the beginning of uh, August. Yeah. yeah, and it's fantastic. They've done well. They've done great. I, this Everything's is crazy. fantastic. The kids wear masks to school. They go out for recess. They do everything that they do. The only thing they don't do is they don't have lunch. They go get their lunch. They bring it back to their desk. They don't change classes. Mm -hmm. This is the stuff that they were supposed to do this year. They don't. They've done great. Everybody's fine. Knock on wood. Every, everything's fine. It, it can be done. Well, it's cons I, don't, I mean, they're not doing even virtual stuff oh my in New God. York City. They're doing nothing. Oh, my God. I like, would, literally, kids are not I would, educated. I would move. Uh, the the I would one move. thing that she said is that they started to do some virtual stuff that's taking an hour a day. Oh, my God. There's no way. I would I would get the heck you out of that city. You would have to leave. I'd have to leave. Your kid needs to be educated. So they're just, their kids are just sitting home right now. Uh, my it's kid. unacceptable. There's no way I would put up with that. And what's the governor? Like, yeah, you can blame de Blasio, and obviously he's totally to blame. But, like, Governor Cuomo's not doing anything about nope. this either. Mm -mm. Well, they don't care. I mean, what do they care? Their kids it's are getting, unreal. their kids are getting educations. Their grandkids are getting educations. They don't care. Unreal. Unreal. Yeah. Um, Texas now. Oh, I missed it. Did you let you talk about the two football players who spent up running on the field and police and red fire? Oh, with the flag. We meant to talk about that. We the did. Other day. We had that in our lineup. We didn't get to it. Oatmeal bath made it worse. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. High school. My best friends developed an allergy. Blah. Abbott is in bars. He's keeping is keeping bars closed. I didn't. I couldn't see that. It's too long. You guys have to keep it. They're too coming long. so fast. <laughs> I know. 
uh, starting online only in Oregon soon. Seriously? I mean, how are schools not already I don't, started? I don't understand this either. Yeah, I mean, what? listen, we're Indiana, and and we started like I I live we are on a, time. I mean, mm-hmm. essentially, it's just you know we did a uh, like in my kids' school, it's hybrid. So one day mm-hmm. in school, one day at home, and my kids' school is all there because we're very rural, and that and I like it that way. I just can't believe that so many kids are not in school right yeah. now. It's, it's a I, school in Milwaukee is closing because one kid is positive. Oh my God, that's the dumbest thing ever. She's Louise. Dumb. So, so dumb. Okay, we really, we actually have to go because it's time to go. Again, what massive thanks to Eileen Joy for these amazing pillows. They are gorgeous. And to Sonia for the box of wonderment. All the stuff. It's Guys, just crazy. I love it when I wake up in the morning and Donald Trump is president. <laughs> I do. I love it. We hope everybody has the most fantastic weekend. Hope Tune into our show at 9 o'clock, yeah, WIBC.com. We'll, 9 o'clock, we will be there. We'll be there. WIBC.com. You just said that, right? WIBC.com. Yeah. And then also listen to our podcast. Make sure you're subscribed. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do all Guys, things. Bring it in. Bring it in. Yeah. Guys, have a great one.